The Noyo River entrance is, uh, is 82 foot wide. The swells come directly in. We have cliffs surrounding the entrance, so uh, there's, there's nothing to block the swells from coming in. A lot of boats will and, and come in right, right behind them. And uh, a lot of times what they end up doing is they misjudge them and they'll end up surfing and capsizing there at the entrance. Realizing that we had a, a capsized boat on the bar, uh, it's always best to get as many boats out there as possible to assist. We were the first ones on scene. We passed the 44 on the way out. Saw that the boat was well inside the jetty tip. eight to ten foot breakers right on the boat. They were right in the surf line. And that looked real, that was really a dangerous thing. Hang on. First thing I noticed was that they weren't wearing life jackets. We asked them if they knew how to swim and they all shook their head no, that they did not know how to swim. So I didn't want them jumping off the hull of the boat and trying to get to our boat. It was better for us to to send someone over to recover them. In a situation like that, there's not much we can do for the boat. So our, our main thing is we gotta save the lives. The remaining crewman couldn't pull them on board by himself, so I had to leave the wheel, uh, assist in pulling the survivor on board. We were hanging alongside the boat when a series of waves came through, and we had quite a few waves hit us and break right on top of us. I want to use the swimmer because that's really dangerous, but I had no choice. I don't even remember swimming over to the guy, really, because the adrenaline rush that you get, you, you don't even have time to think. That's when training kicks in. And that was a lot of work to hang on to him, hang on to the boat, and stay with it. Never had that that happen before. I didn't see this one wave sneak up on us at all. All of a sudden, it uh, reared up underneath the boat, turned it sideways, and then rolled us over. We want to give every bit of praise to the Coast Guard for reacting so quickly. 